Are you struggling to add an HTML template to your Angular directive? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to use template URL in Angular 2 directives and solve this common issue. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when your code doesn't work as expected, especially when you're trying to implement something as straightforward as a template. You're in the right place to find a solution. Let's look at the specific question at hand. One user asked, how do I add an HTML template to a directive? They provided a sample code that isn't working and they received an error message about the template URL not being recognized. Sound familiar? Let's break it down. So what's going on here? The error message indicates that the template URL property is not recognized in the directive's metadata. This is a common issue that many developers face when transitioning to Angular 2. And stick around. By the end of this video, you'll not only know how to fix this issue, but also gain insights into best practices for using templates in Angular. To resolve the issue with the directive, the user should first understand that Angular directives do not support the template URL property. Instead, they should use the template property to include HTML directly. Next, if the user wants to keep the HTML in a separate file, they can use the component decorator instead of directive. This allows the use of template URL. After updating the directive or converting it to a component, the user should ensure that the HTML file is correctly referenced and exists in the specified location. Finally, the user should test the application to confirm that the directive or component is functioning as expected. They can do this by running the application and checking for any errors in the console. Fun fact, did you know that Angular was originally developed by Google? It's come a long way since its inception and understanding its nuances can really enhance your development skills. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user points out that according to Angular documentation, there are two types of directives, attribute and structural. Neither of these types supports templates. Instead, they suggest using an Angular component for this purpose. They also ask if there is a specific reason for wanting to use a directive. Here's a pro tip. Always check the Angular documentation for the version you're using. It can save you a lot of headaches and keep your code up to date. And there you have it. You've learned how to properly use templates in Angular directives. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. Remember, coding is a journey and every step counts.